I wanna see somebody break their face. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looks so painful. Hello YouTube, my name is Matt, and as you can tell by that little intro, today I'm gonna be talking about that moment when I hit my face on a couch. I'm gonna be answering some common questions that I had, like why was it featured on Fell Army? What was the goal of the run? Like at the end, what was I supposed to do? Did it hurt at all? Like with that busted lip, everyone was asking if it was hurting, but I'm gonna be talking about what injuries I had from it. So stay tuned. So first, why was it featured on Fell Army? Why? Why? That's the question. So I did the fell and everything. I posted it on my Nitro Parkour page. It got no views. I don't even know how they saw it. They're probably searching all the time like parkour fails. Sorry, I'm, I'm speaking moistly. Speaking moistly. Oh, what a terrible image. So I don't even know how they saw it, but they somehow messaged me. A company named Jukin Media sent me a message and wanted me to give them permission to use this video to try to sell it to TV shows and stuff like that, like American Funniest Videos, so they can make a little bit of money with it and I can make a lot of money with it. I didn't have like a full-time job. I was doing like landscaping and stuff. So I said yes, but what I didn't know is that Jukin Media are also the owners of the Fell Army page on YouTube. A couple of weeks after, my face was the thumbnail of the most famous parkour fail video of all time. And I was also teaching phys ed back then. Like one morning, a kid runs in the gym laughing out loud. And <laughs> it's just like, sir, I saw you on Fell Army. and. My ego was hit pretty hard from that. You must be so embarrassed! Because I didn't want them to like see all of this. In the end, it's my fault. I signed that contract and I, I wasn't that informed. But also, if everyone's just laughing about it, then I'm happy with it, I guess. It's still really scary, but I think I know why. That's better. Pretty It was like a goal to play with something that was moving. It's probably because I was inspired by Les Sept Doigts de la Main. I don't know if you saw that video like 10, 15 years ago. Circus people playing with a couch. And when I passed by that couch and I saw these walls, I wanted to create something with it. Like flips and roll up with it and roll backward with it. That's probably what inspired me. And that's what I came up with. But at the end, the main goal was to jump over the couch then knock the couch down and just run out of frame like every good old parkour videos. But that's not quite what happened. When I smashed my face on that couch, it wasn't soft at all like I thought it was gonna be. There was big pieces of wood. And that's what I hit my face on. Two hours after it, my lip had a bump. I didn't just bust my lip, I had a cut in my mouth and I was doing landscaping back then. And I remember doing the weed eater and some pieces of weed came into my mouth and it was hurting so much. Oh my God. But immediately after it, I saw like black dots. I was really dizzy. And I think I had a small concussion from it because I can barely remember going back home. Like I drove back home, but I wasn't aware that I just had a concussion. I was never like diagnosed because like the day after I was fine. It could have been way worse than that. Yes. Big mistakes can happen on the most simple stuff. And that's what I learned from that mistake. That's what I learned from many of my fails. You need to be cautious, I guess, when you're doing the most simple stuff because that's when you get injured. So what I get from all of this is uh, learn to read English properly before signing a contract. I should have been more informed, but in the end, I don't regret signing. I think it made people laugh, it entertained people. That wasn't even nice. And I'm gonna try to keep entertaining people without hitting my face on a couch next time. If you have any further questions about the couch fell, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll respond to them as much as I can. I'm posting more regularly on this page, so if you wanna see a bit more parkour stories or just parkour videos in general, make sure to click right here to subscribe. Watch these videos if you haven't, and if you can leave a thumbs up, that would be really appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video.